An autonomous truck company, Too Simple, making its public debut on the NASDAQ this morning. Ahead of that first trade, let's bring in Cheng Liu, president and CEO of Too Simple. Cheng, congratulations and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Good morning to you all. Morgan, great to see you again. So coming off the heels of the biggest direct listing in history, Coinbase, yesterday and what's been just a tsunami of SPACs, why did you decide to go public through an IPO? Sure. Uh, we want a public through IPO because this is a tried and true process. Uh, the philosophy of Too Simple is we believe in transparency. Uh, as part of the IPO process, we've been vetted by major investors, research analysts, lawyers, strategic partners, and we believe that this adds the, uh, the credibility that we want to present uh, to the market. Yeah, $40 a share for the IPO price, you're raising uh, more than $1.3 billion, a market value of about $8.5 billion. What are you going to put that capital towards? Of course. I mean, this is a huge milestone for the company. Uh, we are the first and only autonomous driving company to be publicly traded. It's really a validation of our shareholders' confidence in us and our technology. And as part of IPO, we'll be able to invest even more in our people and our operations. Yeah, and just talking about that technology a little bit, I think the last time you and I spoke was 2019, and That's you right. were announcing a partnership uh, for self-driving trucks, uh, a pilot, I should say, with the Postal yes. Service. Since then, how have you expanded partnerships? How yep. many of your trucks do you have on the roads, not only here in the U.S., but in places like China? Sure. So trucking, as we all know, is the backbone of what moves goods in America. Everything we use, we touch at home, at work, at schools, was at one point moved on a truck. In the same time, trucking is faced with uh, some challenges, uh, including driver shortage, driver turnover, and increasing cost of safety and environmental issues. So at the heart of Too Simple, we are an artificial intelligence software company. And we're building a holistic solution to solve these pressing challenges. We're going to bring the most reliable autonomous freight capacity to the market. And so since we last spoke in 2019, uh, we've made tremendous progress both in terms of technology, our commercial operations, and our go-to-market strategy. We have been invested and have gone on production programs with two of the largest global truck OEMs. That's Navistar North America yeah. and Trayton Group, which is part of Volkswagen in Europe and globally. Well, Cheng, uh, how important is the subscription part of your uh, of your service? Uh, you know, I'd imagine obviously investors sure. love to give a nice multiple to recurring revenues. What do I get for this, whatever it may be, thirty five cents a mile or something sure. that you're going to be charging people who buy your trucks? Sure, it's it's a great question. We have to understand that with level four autonomy, uh, it's not something that just plug and play. What Too Simple will help to provide as part of the service is really the uh, turnkey solution to operate these trucks. And so Too Simple will help to provide the, uh, the HD definition maps, the map updates, the pre-trip, post-trip planning, uh, emergency rescue, uh, teleoperations. So the whole uh, turnkey solution that will enable these trucks to operate more safely and more efficiently for our customers. Chang, I, I got to ask about SunDream, uh, your largest sure. shareholder, 20% stake. It's an affiliate of um, Sina Corporation. It looks like on March 1st, CFIUS requested a written notice on yeah. that investment. Do you have an update on that for us? Uh, at this point, so, so the CFIUS investment, uh, CFIUS is the uh, committee of foreign investments into the U.S. In this instance, CFIUS is reviewing a 2017 transaction where SunDream, as a foreign company, made investment into Too Simple as a U.S. company. Uh, we are collaborating and uh, cooperating with CFIUS. Uh, we're pre pre uh, having a review uh, and presenting a voluntary filing. Uh, at this point, we do not have an update. Uh, over the next coming month, uh, this issue uh, will come to resolution. And we believe that, uh, again, this is a review of a particular transaction that happened a long time ago. And uh, we do not see this having a material impact to our overall business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.